It's not uncommon for a patient in a coma to open their eyes briefly. I'm sorry that you were given the impression he was awake. Rito! Come on. Relax. It's okay. Miguel, how long was I asleep? Not even half an hour. You really need to get rest. I need to get to the hospital and to Pito. Josefa, remember what the doctor told us. He made it through the night. The worst is over. Now all we have to do is wait for him to wake up. And what if he wakes up and we're not there? Norma is with him. His sister's with him. He's not alone. It's not right for a child to go before their parents. I'm ready to go, but I'm not ready to bury one of my children. My youngest, my baby. Listen to me. This is not the first time we go through this with people. He was born two months premature with kidney problems. They told us to prepare for the worst. That most likely he wouldn't make it. But you and I, we knew different. We never left this side. For weeks we were there every day. So he knew how much he was loved. And this time, we're not alone. He has his brothers, his sisters, his nephew, his abuelita. And just like the last time, our love will bring our son home. So, hot date? Maybe. Yeah, and that's what you're gonna wear? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Nothing. But if you're looking to get laid. Ew. I'm just saying you should you should wear something that shows off your assets. And some tight jeans. Maybe that black t-shirt you have is two sizes too small. You know what? I'm not going to have this conversation with my little brother. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, I'm proud of you for coming out to us. Yeah, Dad and Papa took some time to come around, but... The only person that has a problem with you being gay right now is you. What do you mean? Bring him home to meet the family. Yeah, I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? How is this different than Papa and Bonnie? Or or Norma and Joe. Okay, Joe's a bad example, but you know what I mean. You spent so many years hiding who you are. Maybe. In time. Who are you kidding? This is the one. What? How the fuck would you know? Because. I've never seen my big brother so happy before. And I want to meet the man responsible and say thank you. Did you get to be so smart? Yo, I've been telling you guys for years. It'll be easier if you realize that you're always wrong, and I'm always right. <laughs> I thought you were going to be joining me. I'm sorry, I was, I was just thinking about Pito. I, I need to get going. I have to relieve Norma. We're taking turns staying. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. A lot has happened in the last 24 hours. Okay, we haven't even had a moment to breathe. Are we good? Better than good. You asked me to marry you yesterday. For all my family drama. What? Are you having second thoughts? Mm, never. I love your family. Even your brother and your father. You know what? Because I know that deep down inside, they love you very much. You know, I, I never had that with my family. You know, when I came out of the closet, they kicked me out of the house. You are very lucky to have them. We are lucky. You heard my father yesterday. He welcomed you to the family. <laughs> Once that happens, he stuck with us for life. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. I've loved you from the very first moment we met. All right, go take a shower and uh, get to the hospital and I'll meet you there when I get done with work.
Back, you don't have to come in. Only you have hey. to work. Your father said I'm part of the family. So, I want to be there for Pito. I love you. I love you more. Alright, I feel stupid. I wish I had the kind of faith that Mommy and Titi have. I want to believe that there's something after, but I think you die and that's it. But on the chance that there is, I'm sorry I haven't been here since we laid you to rest. I haven't been doing a good job. You must be so disappointed in me. Pito made it through the night. The doctor said it was a good thing, but he hasn't woken up yet. So all we can do now is wait. But if he doesn't make it, Joe's a dead man. I know you wouldn't want me to talk like that, but he just left Pito alone like that? Wait till you hear this. You ready? Sammy's getting married. He could legally marry Tony now. I remember the arguments you used to get into with Papi and your mom about same-sex marriage. You won, girl. And you know you'd, he'd want you to be his maid of... Damn, what do they call that? I don't know, but you know what I mean. Okay, here it is. I'm moving to Puerto Rico. I got in contact with Olga, my biological mother. She has some connections out there and she's gonna hook me up with work. I know it seems extreme, but I think this is the right move. Papito has been cutting school, and after what happened with Pito, I just think that it's the... I can't lie to you. I just can't be here anymore. Everywhere I look, I see you. You are everywhere. From our first date, the Uitos Cuchifrito, to sneaking into the pool in Oakland after dark, to our makeout sessions at Fort Tryon, Orchard Beach, we first made love. I know you'd want me to move on, but I can't. Have you ever thought of being with another woman? I just need a fresh start somewhere where everything doesn't bring me back to you. I hope you understand. Forgive me. If I have any chance of moving on, I love you, baby. Always. Hey, where is everybody? Oh. Mommy and Papi are trying to sleep, and Papito's in school, I hope. And Papo's got knows where. Sammy's over at Tony's. Yeah, I know that. I just saw him at the hospital. He's with Pito. Where's Joe? Why would he be here? Uh, this is his home? No, this is his father-in-law's home, which by the way, he's been freeloading for over two years now. It didn't take long for everything to revert back to normal. So much for making up, and I'm so feeling the sisterly love. Are you serious? What? You think Papi's gonna let Joe back in here without an explanation? Lou, you honestly told
show me that if you were in the same situation, that you would stay, fight, and then run? Fuck yeah, Norma, he left our brother out there to die. He was scared. Uh, he was a little bitch ass, that's what he was. What kind of man runs at the first sign of trouble and leaves their own family behind? You know, this is not your home, so this is not your decision to make. Papi will understand. Understand what? That your husband's a little pussy? Norma, wake up, okay? He's an assistant principal and you're a teacher. Where the hell does all your money go? Because y'all two do not work at Target. Huh? So why is it that after two years you guys are still here? I'm not gonna explain my relationship with you, Lulis, okay? You wouldn't understand. You have never been in a relationship your entire life. Well, if that's what a real relationship is like, then I'll spend the rest of my life single. Oh my God, will you just shut up? I haven't seen Joe since last night. He hasn't answered my phone call to my text. I don't even know if he's alive. Oh, I know he could be dead. Papa could have found him and killed him. He is my husband and I'm worried. Uh, here, here, sit down. I didn't mean to upset you, okay? Hey, now you can see this as a blessing in disguise. Now you can divorce his ass. Hey, stop it already, okay? I'm not gonna divorce him. Why the hell not? I'm pregnant. Crap, well isn't that fucking great? So you missed my news. Tony proposed, and I said yes. So you see, you gotta wake up because I'm gonna need you to be my ring bearer. And yes, that was a crack at your eye. I thought that if I got you pissed enough, you'd wake up and fight back. You know, you're still the ladies, man. You got two nurses crushing on you. They're actually hot. Come on, enough with the sleeping, all right? We need you to wake up. Mr. Ramirez, you have a call at the nurse's station. Thank you. I remember, 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 I remember growing up, all I felt was pain, I couldn't maintain the frame of the same, my father passed away and left me to live his name, so I'ma take his name in this game and bring it fame, cause still the day I die is with you I rise, no tears in my eyes.